My Trip to Dollywood by Ronald Yoder Seniors. I recently take my son down to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee to the Dollywood Adventure Park. It is a very exciting theme park based on the legendary country western singer Dolly Parsons. My son love is Dolly and he could not wait to see where she lived. We had a very long drive from Dumplin Valley, so you can bet we stop at every Shoney restaurant along the way. Sorry Kenny, but you just cannot pass up a Shoney's dining experience. Plus, my son loves Shoney Bear and I even buy him a Shoney Bear plushie. It comfort him during the drive. Finally, we make it to Dollywood. We were very tired, but luckily we were staying at the on-site hotel, Dolly's Whorehouse. After a good night's sleep, we finally get to enjoy our first full day of Dollywood attractions. We ride all the rides including the brand new coaster called the Dollywood Hills, which supposedly follow the exact curvature of Dolly's bosom. The next day I dropped my son off at Dollywood's free daycare service so I could explore the park on my own. I met a strange woman by the washrooms who is an actual Dolly impersonators. We had a couple cocktails together and I soon discover why they named the place Dollywood. You see, the woman looked like Dolly Parsons so much that I actually developed some Dollywood of my own. It did not take long for us to end up back at my room at the whorehouse. We make love for several hours, then she say she must get back to work. When I ask her what she did at Dollywood, she say she played Dolly in the big parade this evening. I tell her I will be there to watch the parade with my son but not to speak to me because my son is not yet ready to see his father with another woman's. The next day was supposed to be a special one for my son because it was Reba Day. That's right, Reba McIntyre was actually scheduled to visit the park. However, she canceled at the last minute, reportedly due to stomach problem from eating too much Activia pudding. Get well soon Reba. And we will come to Dollywood again to see you the next time you are in town. We love you, Reba. Anyway, me and my son basically live at Dollywood for the next two weeks. We sleep at the whorehouse and eat all day long at the Kenny Roger restaurants and kiosks which seem to be everywhere. We see all the shows and purchase lots of Dolly souvenirs. But there is one special souvenir I will always cherish. Thank you, Janet, for letting me keep your panties. And thank you to Dolly's Lil Darling's daycare service for taking such good care of my boy while I was fooling around with Janet. Well, that's my Dollywood report. I hope you enjoy it. And be sure to get your ass down to Dollywood this summers. Maybe you will even get lucky like me. After eating all that Kenny Roger food for so long, we were very happy to see all the Shoney signs on the way home. Sorry Kenny but your food is just not as good as Shoney food. We love you Kenny.